What's up everyone, my name is Jonathan. Thank you for joining me for another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. Today we are going to extend a background in a studio setting for when your subjects are wider than your background. And I don't mean fatter, so don't be offended. Didn't say that, I said wider, your group. Anyways, let's get into Photoshop. Okay, so we are in Photoshop. We are going to create a copy of this background layer right here. So you can do that by hitting Control J or clicking and dragging down onto this new layer button right there. And now on this top layer here, you're gonna hit I on your keyboard and then you're going to select the backdrop color or you can click on your eyedropper tool. Now we're gonna hit B on your keyboard for your brush and we're going to make this 100 opacity, 100 flow. Right click, we're gonna bring this smoothness, uh, we can actually bring this up, or the hardness, I'm sorry. We can bring this up pretty high for the moment. Holding Alt, right click and drag left and right, and you can adjust your brush size settings. And then we're going to uh, grab this again, brush tool, we're gonna paint in, and we're going to try to paint around her hand initially and we are going to if you hit alt while you're in the brush tool it brings up the eyedropper tool and then you can just click and continue painting so this is obviously a super hard color so the the, the better you do initially the less pain in the butt it will be here momentarily when we have to paint in the around the fingers and all that good stuff. Could click down here. And we will fade this in and out in a minute. Obviously that is not going to be the final color. So I kind of want to do like a little bit and then, whoops, start over. Go down just like that. And then, so you know how the, the light is cast it down on this from this spotlight up here and from this one over here so there's going to be a little bit difference in colors as we move down you can see this one's a little more uh, tan for lack of a better term i'm terrible with colors so we can just continue doing this and again that is holding alt right click and dragging to change the brush size keep on doing this And now what we're going to do is, so we're going to click down here, and this is going to be the color for down here, but we want to fade this in. So we're going to bring the opacity of our brush all the way down to like 37, right click, and we're going to drag this all the way down to like zero for hardness. And if my screen is flickering on your screen as well, I have no idea why it is doing that all of a sudden. That's strange. New. It's a new thing. New things are fun, not always. But then we're going to paint in so you can see how this is kind of blending in with the rest of the colors. Now holding Alt and hitting or uh, using your scroll wheel, you can zoom in. And holding spacebar, you can move around on your artboard. Holding Alt, grab your eyedropper tool, and you can just paint in right here where it didn't quite get the edge. And I'm just trying to avoid her foot if I can. So that's just less masking we have to do here in a minute. So I'm gonna keep on painting. Let me know in the comments if you can see the flickering because I'm, I'm not gonna know until I'm editing it and it's bothering me, so. It's a new thing. Hopefully that doesn't mean my graphics card is dying because that would suck. And I'm gonna keep painting in. If you haven't yet, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That's a thing. I'm just gonna keep painting in around this. We're gonna bring this opacity up some, speed this up a little bit. And that looks good. Pretty good there, you can see it right there. And I think that's good. Make this brush a lot smaller and zoom in pretty close. And we're gonna make this 100. Paint in around her finger. Bring that color right there. Done there. 
you won't even have to mask it out if you do a good job on this part. So you can do as good or a bad of a job on that as you would like. Bring the opacity down on this back down a little bit. As you can see right there, it's not quite as smooth as it should be. Right about there. Now, whoops. Drag this back up to 100. Paint this in. Something like so. It's okay if you go over the fingers a little bit because we're going to fix it here in a minute just to make it a little easier. Less fixing though, less fixing the better. Do something like so. Make this a little smaller. Come down in here. And then we are going to grab. So now you can see how this is still like kind of like layers where we were. So now you just grab the, this brush. Click here, drag this paint down like that. Something like so. Looks pretty smooth. Looks good. And now we will do the same thing on this side. I'll speed this part up until we get to the masking of the feet and the fingers. Okay, that's that part. Now we're gonna bring the opacity down on this uh, pretty good, pretty good ways. That way you can see what you're doing. And then we're gonna click on this layer. We're gonna click this button right here. This is going to create a mask. And what the mask does is now you can click on the mask, hit X on your keyboard to swap these colors around. If these were on your default black and white colors, you just need to make sure your foreground brush is black. So make your brush black, and then you can get started on painting over you want to paint over what you want to see with black. When the mask is white, you want to paint in what you want to be able to see. We're going to bring this hardness up a little bit. Do all of that. Zoom in. Zoom in plenty. Zoom. Get knock this done out. Get this finger. Get all the way down here to the end. And then, the, because the benefit of using a mask is that if we mess up, you can swap the colors around and then just paint the opposite. So then you would want to paint what you don't want to see. So we can grab this finger right there. Looking good so far, cranking this out. This isn't gonna take too long. This would go a lot faster if I probably hadn't been explaining it to begin with. And so there's another way you could do this, and that is masking out the subject to begin with by uh, selecting the your subject and then cutting them out, creating a layer, or you can just do it this way. This I don't see an issue with doing it this way, so this is probably the way that I would do it because it's not hard and kind of makes sense. I think we're good on this hand. And then so to see if you're good, you just bring the opacity back up to 100 and then you can really see where you're at. So oops. hit the wrong key and make sure we are on white, all the way on white, okay? Grab your brush tool. Actually, we want to be black for this part. So I want to make sure that I have all of this. None of this is colored in white at all because it is a little bit because we were using a pretty big soft brush earlier to paint in some of this stuff so there's a lot of overflow when you use those big brushes like that so just give it a once over make sure that it's good to go uh, good to go there let's zoom back out now we're going to go up here and do this hand and this arm paint that in this is pretty obvious where we want the painting to be. We're gonna drag this down pretty good ways. We can see what we're doing. Something like so. Drag, drag, bleh, drag that back up there. Click in here. And go about a 
shipping. If you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments if you would like more videos like this. And then I'm always happy to do like I'm doing in this video and that's help somebody out by showing them exactly what they're looking for um, in one of the Facebook groups, the photography editing Facebook groups that I'm in. Uh, somebody was asking how to do this, how to save this photo until they can get a proper backdrop for a larger group. And so that's where we are doing this photo for. So if that's your story and you want help doing something, feel free to reach out to me. I have no issue doing this kind of thing as a video for the channel. I appreciate all of your comments and likes and all that good stuff on all my other videos. I really appreciate that. It really gives me motivation to keep going because this is a lot of work. In case that wasn't abundantly clear. So we can drag this up to 100%, make sure that there's some good crisp lines here, make sure that it all looks normal. This could be toned back just a skosh. You gotta think this is the finger and it's going to be really far away from the focal point. It's gonna be way out here. So that looks good. So now we just need to run over this foot really fast. So I'm pretty sure some got painted when we use that big brush uh, a little bit ago when we were doing the background. Drag that up some. Make sure I get the whole foot. And now we can go up to this hand up here. Paint on this arm. That looks good. That looked way better than I expected. There was like none on there. Grab my finger right there. Grab this finger. Oh, here we go. I knew this looked weird. So, not a whole lot got painted in. This one I took a little bit more time when I was initially painting in the background. So, this one looked a little better to begin with. Go back to 100. So, that looks good. So, we went here. What you would do from here is just make sure you, you know, smooth out these spots where you painted in the, oops, make sure you click off of the mask and back onto the layer. So that would be confusing. You didn't realize that's what you did. So then just paint in the, um, you can bring your opacity down a good bit and then make sure you are you know, you smooth out all those edges where you painted in. Oh, I forgot about the foot. So we want black because we are basically erasing the layer that we're on. It's up. Make sure you bring your opacity back up. Erase this foot. Don't erase the foot, that would be bad. And I did quite a bit on this leg here. Leg here, I didn't say leg here. Oh, you can probably just erase all this because this is going to be uh, the same. This don't matter because this is the background right here. Yeah, was this, where was this? Yeah, this wasn't even, so I mean, you can be a little careful, but you don't have to be too careful. I was all being careful for no reason. All right, go back out to 100, zoom back out. So yeah, so from here you would just smooth out, uh, smooth out some of these spots where you had the colors not quite right. And again, you just grab a brush, make it a pretty good size, and then use a pretty low opacity. Swap these around. So you're just gonna grab this color right here and just paint in over. Oops, make sure you are on the uh, layer. Paint in over this so it's, it's just trying to smooth it out you don't want it to be, you know, so, so harsh, such harsh lines where you are obviously painting. So 
that is it. Hopefully that helps somebody and appreciate all of you. Make sure to smash the like button before you leave. And if you have any more ideas for videos, I would greatly appreciate it. Feel free to follow me on any of the social media that is down below. I post at least Monday, Wednesday, Friday, After Effects, Illustrator, Premiere, etc. Tons of other stuff. Thank you for watching. God bless. Stay safe. And we will see you in the next video.